What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about this woman who apparently is a high end escort who gets flown around to different cities to sleep with men for money. I told y'all a lot of these women are selling themselves online now. And apparently she's been doing this for over 17 years. And this time she got flown out by this uh, younger guy. Okay. To Detroit. She is from Florida. And he was paying her to come and have relations with them. And they met at a hotel. They did whatever. This guy paid her. And when she, I uh, guess when he went to leave, he then slammed her against the wall and demanded her valuables. And I'm assuming the money back that he gave her. And what makes this story even more, it, make it makes it even worse is the fact that she's a married woman with children. This is a married woman who seems to have went to Detroit by herself to meet a guy that she's never met before to have relations with him. Now, again, she's probably done this so much that, you know, she, she doesn't really need anybody with her, but this to me, I don't know what this guy was offering her money wise, but it must've been enough for her to leave an entire state just to go and, and see this guy. Right. And according to her, she had a vetting process and the vetting process was, you know, good enough for her to go and meet him. You see, this is where a lot of women, this is what a lot of women have come to. Uh, they have resorted to doing stuff like this. This stuff goes on a lot. Y'all just don't know. These women are either basically selling themselves in their state, their city, or they're traveling outside other places. I mean, this is what goes on. Just like these women that travel overseas, you know, that they, they go where the money is. Now they're doing it with OnlyFans. And you can tell the women who have had relations for money, the, the Instagram models, because as soon as they go to OnlyFans, they're doing hardcore stuff, you know. And um, unfortunately for her, you know, she linked up with a guy that wasn't going to pay her. I mean, he may have had the money to give her, but he wasn't going to give it to her. And now he's lost his freedom. Ain't no telling when he's getting out. Uh, but again, to me, this is the state of a lot of women these days. Uh, this is what they're resorting to, to take care of their stay-at-home husband. Uh, they are the ones out there risking their life to go and fly out to go meet men they've never met. So let's look at this article from uh, Fox to Detroit. Uh, it says at least two women have come forward and said that they were targeted and terrorized by someone who was seeking out high end escorts and workers. Kendra K has been a high end escort for 17 years, but she never once had to beg someone to let her live. But she said that the man she encountered recently seemed to completely turn on a new persona. I was scrunched down in the corner, told him I have kids. I was begging for my life. Kendra said it was like Dr. Chekhov, Mr. Hyde. It was like su he, uh, it was like super nice and respectful into a whole different person when he pulled the weapon on me. The man, she said, is 24 year old Kevin Whitfield. Uh, she says she flew up from her home in Florida to meet him at the Marriott Hotel in Romulus after he found her on social media you know um for what i understand women who go to different who fly out right they charge a fee before they go okay i believe they charge fee. i don't know if she charged them anything uh maybe she thought that he would have the money i mean does this dude look like he make money like that i mean i know this is a mugshot but you know, that you know, there's some craziness in his eyes. You know, sometimes you have to really look at people and it's, <laughs> there's a little crazy. There's a little hint of crazy there. You know, I'm not just seeing some random person. My screening process is kind of extensive because I am such a high end pr profile person in the industry. Kendra said 
Uh, I guess. I mean, if, according to her, you know, the terrifying part is that she says she wasn't she that there wasn't a single red flag. They had a 30 minute session, which involved having relations after he paid and she was seeing him out. He changed. I opened the door. He slammed the door and slammed me against the wall, like slammed me so hard that my body, it hurt so bad. He slammed me against the door. Kendra said for an hour, she was terrorized as he ransacked the room and stole thousands of dollars from her as well as electronics and a necklace from her grandmother. For, I'm trying to figure out why does she have electronics? How, did she <laughs> was she doing some cam modeling while she was there? I would thought it would have been a business trip where she just flew there for like a day or two and saw him and, and then left, right? Unless when she got there, she went and bought stuff. A necklace from her grandmother who recently passed. That was the most important thing. That things you can't get back. He took my wedding ring. He took my engagement ring. Kendra said, as it turns out, Whitfield has allegedly done this before. He was charged in Oakland County on Friday for doing the same thing to another worker at the Four Points Hotel in Navi after a woman was badly beaten. So this guy, for some reason, these women trust him. Is it because they could be attracted to him? I, I will say this, though. When women are attracted to a man, they will overlook flaws. And it's, and it's clear that these women were so comfortable with him that they were there by themselves. This woman flew from Florida to Detroit by herself, basically. So you got to keep that in mind. He is a very sick individual, and I hope he gets everything he deserves, Kendra said. Though Whitfield is locked up and facing even more charges, Kendra hasn't worked and is now moving out of her own home because she is afraid of being hurt again. Was it worth it, really? I have to live with this for the rest of my life. This PTSD, I'm scared someone is going to harm me, she said. Well, hopefully she gets out of this uh, trade that she's in and tells her husband to get a job. OK, because this is not the business for her. She should not be in this business whatsoever. It's unfortunate that this happened, but it did. Now, I have did some research into Kendra K. I believe she may go by the name Kendra uh, Kashmir. I believe she may go because I, I don't know if that's 100 percent her. Um. But from my understanding, that person may still be working actively. This might be somebody separately. I, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure because, you know, the photos and the tattoo on her arm don't match up. But uh, she still might could be still doing the same thing. I don't know, you know, and for her sake, hopefully she gets out of this business and doesn't have to get into these situations again. Because this is not good. It, it really isn't. And, you know, this could happen to a lot of these women. Again, they got two women that were able to speak out against this guy. So ultimately, get, being in this business, you're going to take risks. And if she's been doing it for 17 years, there's no exit strategy. At some point, there should be an exit strategy. There should be an exit strategy. So let me know thing in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook. Oh, yeah, let me say this, too. Let me say this, too. If you ain't got the money to pay these heifers, man, don't fly them out because this guy is going to lose his freedom for a while. All because he was so thirsty and so broke that the money, he didn't even want to part with the money that he had. That's why he robbed those women, because to, to him, he wanted both. He wanted to sleep with them and keep his money and rob them. So if you can't afford to get with these females, don't fly them out. Now you're going to be in jail. There's already probably going to be more women coming out saying he did things to them. So follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you all next one.